Hello, my name's Alex Parsman. I'm the managing partner at AVP Law. Clearly, these are unprecedented times in the relation to the provision of employment law advice. Initially, the majority of our inquiries related to the practical application of the coronavirus job retention scheme and how that would impact employers. However, since that time has moved on, and now we seem to be emerging from the lockdown period, the majority of our inquiries relate to how and when employees can safely return to work. For example, if an employee does not want to return to work, how should an employer act? Some, some people might feel that, and some employees might feel that they do not want to return to work because they're afraid of catching the coronavirus, and this could particularly be the case if they are at higher risk or considered to be vulnerable. An employer should listen carefully to any concerns that staff may have and should also take practical steps to protect everyone. For example, they could offer additional car parking spaces, make sure that there is a two metre distance between desks at work or suggest or request that employees bring their packed lunch, bring a sanitised packed lunch into work. However, if an employee does not want to return to work, they may make suggestion that they take unpaid leave or family, family leave in order so they do not have to return to work. But what should be remembered is that an employer does not have to remember and does not have to agree to that. If an employee does wish to attend work without, does wish to refuses to attend work without a valid reason, what they should remember is that this still could subject them to disciplinary action. Thank you and stay safe. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>